Andy Burden, uh, British 10,000 metre champion. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, it feels, it feels good to get out of the way. Um, I was kind of, I was looking forward to this kind of week with last week's race and this week's race, but at the same time dreading it because um, you're still going to go out there and, and perform. And uh, yeah, perform last week, perform this week, and hopefully it's qualifying, right? qualifying out for both championships. Um, which is, uh, Nailed down the qualifying time with a sub 28 30 performance. Um, what were your ambitions going forward to that championship? Um, yeah, so I've got a, a couple of 3Ks uh, lined up. I'd like to um, I'd like to try and run close to some like 735 in, in those races, 735 to 740 anyway. Um, and then I'm um, 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 in the uh, Diamond League for the Glasgow um, Diamond League. best race out of the way yet, that's for sure. Um, so hopefully there's more to come there and then you know, Commonwealth Games is a, is a, it's a hard one to, to put a place on. I mean, it's a, it's a very good standard but you don't know who's going to turn up. I mean, the Kenyans don't often send their best, best athletes so I mean, I, I don't know but I definitely want to try and get a medal at the Europeans, that's for sure. And yeah, you alluded to your, your 5k last week, 13-11, um, sixth fastest of all time. Do you expect to run quite that special? Um, I was, I, I had my kind of 28, I'm sorry, 13 to 12 is what I, that's, that's where I thought I was going to, 13 to 12 to 13 15 maybe, and so I was there or thereabouts anyway, yeah, with uh, what I actually ran, so, uh, yeah, I was, um, I mean, I, I was going there to run, I just needed to race well, and, uh, yeah, run close to 13 15, I thought, to kind of cement the, uh, a position where I don't think many people could run faster and hopefully, yeah, well, hopefully they do, but I mean, for me, I hope they don't, but uh, yeah, obviously 13 11 should be enough and um, yeah, so I was, I was happy with that and yeah, it's kind of where I was, where I was hoping for really. Back to this evening, you've beaten the likes of Chris Thompson, silver medalist in the European Championships in the 10k four years ago, um, your chances of a medal? Um, yeah, I, I think I can do it. I mean, I've done it across country, and uh, yeah, but I did the 10k with, with the kind of speed that I've got over 5k. Um, my God, I should be able to close well. Um, I mean, Tomo said like it's it's hard to to take that one, and I think Tomo's not daft, and I think he was doing enough to get second. He had the time from last year, so he didn't need to run. He didn't need to run anything special. He just needed to come here and finish second. So I think he's played it very cleverly, and he's just done enough to. So um, yeah, I, I can't say that I generally beat Tommy there by whatever it was. I don't, I don't know what he finished on, but um, yeah, because he's uh, he's at the marathon. He's in different different stage of training to me, and he's done different types of training. So by the time we come to the championship, I think it'll be a very different race with, uh, with Tommy. That's for sure. I don't think he's put his cards on.